Welcome back to Seekers of Wellness and welcome to this short backbend flow. It will be really gentle and perfectly fine to adapt for a beginner. So let's get started at the top of our mat, just standing up. I want you to just find yourself grounded, spreading your toes wide, and we're gonna take a deep breath in. Center yourself into the practice knowing that these moments ahead is meant for us to stay within the present moment, within our body, within our mind. With your next breath, reach your arms overhead and give your body a big stretch, maybe even coming up onto your toes. If you feel like some movement, maybe moving from side to side, Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Take one more deep breath in as you reach your arms up. This time, give a slight arch into the back. Exhale, bring hands to your heart center. Find all your weight into your left foot as you reach that left knee in front of you. Hold your balance here. And with your next exhale, swing that leg back and step it into your high lunge. Arms come reaching up. Take one deep breath. Then find your pistols, pistol hands here and give yourself a nice gentle opening in the heart and back bend. Inhale and bring your hands with the exhale to your heart. Step to the top of the mat, reach your arms up again, slight arch in the back, exhale the hands to your heart center. All the way comes into your right foot as you lift the left knee up. With your next exhale, swing that foot back and step into your high lunge with the inhale. Find your pistol hands, open up with your next inhale bringing that chest forward, creating a slight arch in the back. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Then step to the top of the mat, take a deep breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, dive yourself down into your forward fold. Take a few moments here, align yourself. Check in with your body, what you're sensing right now. Is there any movement that feels good? Please move into that. If not, we're just gonna continuously bring some focus to that breath as we start our practice in this forward fold. Try to bring your chest towards the thighs. Releasing any pressure from the lower back. And take one last deep breath in. Then bend your knees, bring your hands onto the floor, step back to your high plank. From our high plank, we're gonna lower ourselves down onto the mat, come laying onto your stomach. First off, we're starting with Sphinx Pose. Just place your elbows just below the shoulders and lift off your shin off the mat. Almost lifting it towards the sky. We can bring our gaze upwards as well. Supporting a slight opening here. As we take one last deep breath, then push yourself up onto your palms and straighten out your arms. Coming into seal pose, if it feels more comfortable, we can widen our legs and feet as well. Creating this stability from your hands, really pushing away from the mat. If this feels too intense for your back, feel free to come down to Sphinx Pose. Or if that doesn't serve your practice today, we can just come down laying completely flat on the stomach, bringing our hands to the forehead 
and just relaxing with our head down onto the mat. One last deep breath. Now then we all come laying down on the mat, place your hands close to the rib cage and push yourself up to your tabletop position. From this tabletop, we're gonna arch our back as we look up for our cat and cow. Inhale as you arch, exhale as you curve the back. Feel free to engage a bit more movement, making this fluid, making this movement work for your body. Taking deep breaths, inhaling as you gaze up and arch, exhaling as you curve, creating movement into the spine, giving a slight back bend and curve. Moving holistically here with intention of being kind to your body, being kind to your spine. One last deep breath. Then push up to your first downward facing dog. Hips come towards the sky, spread your fingers wide. You have your feet in your hip width apart and hands shoulder width apart. If you wanna walk the dog out, that's completely fine as well. We're gonna get into some spinal waves. So sort of like the cat and cow that we just did. We're just gonna continue, but here up in downward facing dog instead. So keep your heels lifted off the mat and bend your knees, then curve up, come close, almost like we're coming into our high plank. Then tilt the pelvis and push yourself back. So you're just curving, coming in, to the front as we hit protract the shoulders and then we push all the way back. A few more like this. Follow your own breath in and out through the nose. Take your time to really notice where in your spine you can sense this movement the most or anywhere else maybe perhaps it's requiring a lot of strength from your legs from your calves team more like this finish your last one and then we're going to meet in downward facing dog again from here, shift all your weight onto the front, come high plank, knees come down onto the mat, lower yourself down and lay flat on the stomach again. This time we're gonna come into locust, so bind your hands together behind your back. Take a deep breath in as we lift up. Lift that shin away from the mat. Take two deep breaths. One more. Then slowly release your hands down. Maybe bring them above each other. Forehead come and meet the hands. Shake out the hips from side to side. Then get ready for round two. We're gonna relax here. Bring hands behind the back. And with your next inhale, we lift up. Hold it for two deep breaths. And slowly release back down, bring hands together and place your palm on one another, forehead onto the hands. Last round here. Then we bring our hands behind our back with our next inhale, lift up again. Two deep breaths. Then slowly relax back down and push yourself up to downward facing dog. 
playing in this downward facing dog for a few cycles of breath, neutralizing the spine, feeling the strength within our body, how capable we are, how loving we're treating our body by being here today. Then slowly come down onto the knees. From here, come and sit onto the heels. We're gonna come in to some half camel. And first, we're coming standing onto the knees, and then we're gonna lean back with one arm. So first, I just want you to place both of the hands onto the sacrum and the lower, lower back to give a bit of support as you lift the uh, chest forward and you arch your back. Keep gazing either to the front or up to the sky. Then bring it back to neutral. This time we're reaching that left arm up above us as we come into that supported camel. One more breath here. Then slowly bring it back to center. We're switching arm, left hand to the sacrum, right arm up and bring it into that slight arch. Imagine yourself lifting the chest up high so we're not collapsing towards the back. One more breath. Release it and come center. Sit back down onto your heels again. Take a moment to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in. And whenever you're ready, bring your hands up to your heart, maybe place them, take a moment to feel your heartbeat. Thank yourself for committing to the time on the mat, for practicing, showing love to whatever is around you and what is in within you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today on the mat. If you do like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this content. That will help me loads to bring out more classes for you guys. And I hope to see you next Monday on the mat again. Lots and lots of love.